Rahawan Da. Good afternoon, subscribers, watchers, likers, and anybody else. Nick here at Nova Adventures. Uh, off on a short trip today, no overnighter, just to four Neolithic burial chambers that are local to the area. And um, if the weather holds, it's looking a bit cloudy at the moment, but if it holds, we'll be cooking um, some supper on a local beach at Newport Sands, and then back home then uh, for whatever time. So um, you'll have a couple of pictures of uh, myself, Nova, Bubbles the Monkey, and the new addition to us, and that's Gary the Gnome. Hope you enjoy this one, guys. See you later. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So here we are, eventually we've made the first Neolithic burial chamber, Gual Afiliast. And uh, you can just imagine how they got that stone up on top of those, those uprights. Don't know how much that top stone weighs, but it's gonna be a, a fair bit, I guess. And uh, yeah, didn't think we'd find it. Sat nav took us everywhere, but which way we should have gone. But uh, yeah, we got here in the end. And then I'm just gonna pan back round to where we were. So as you see there, that's the first one done. That's near a village called Clan Glidwen in Pembrokeshire. Um, we were going to do four today. I think we will do three and do another one uh, hopefully next weekend and we'll put the, the whole video together because we are tight for time. Took me longer to find this one and I did leave a bit late. So we're going to go on to uh, another one now in Pentre Ivan, still in Pembrokeshire. And um, that's probably the biggest one um, around this area and and possibly if not the most well known so on the way to uh, Pentry Ivan now we're not that far away a couple of miles away just thought I might um, video this we are going down a single track road and uh, I know where we are there was a sign at the top of the road saying Ford so we are going to be taking Nova through some water and let's hope oh look try your brakes is what that sign says look try your brakes yeah they work just haven't done um yeah I say I know where we are I know the area fairly well and just hope that the water isn't deep <laughs> anyway we're gonna video it we're not far away from the Ford here we are there we are not too bad but that is Nova's first Ford Here we go. Yep, I think we made it. So here we are guys, we have arrived at Pentre Ivan. And, uh, we are parked there, nice big lay-by. Don't think you'd park in that overnight. You probably wouldn't want to sleep on that gradient. And here we are. And in the distance over there, that's where we're heading. Over there, which is Newport Beach. Stunning area in Pembrokeshire, this. Anyway, that's it. Next time you join me, we'll be by the, by the burial. Right, guys, we are here. This is Pentre Ivan. And um, that one, that big stone on the top there, they call the floating stone. In Welsh, we call it Carig Soon Hofran. And uh, just give you a, there it is. 
Carig Sion Hofran, the floating stone, and that's what they think it would have looked like. So they think it's been standing for over 5,000 years. And uh, can you imagine the other one we've just been to was a baby compared to this, how, how they would have got that stone up on top of those pillars. So I'm just gonna try and walk around the light's a bit funny today. It's not raining, but it's sort of drizzly. Anyway, we'll get the best we can as we always do. And if you do come this, this part of Wales, then this is a must visit. And as I left the last one, and now I'm here with this one, I've got all shivers down my spine and, oh, just gives you that, I don't know, it's a sense of creepiness, but overwhelming at the same time. Well, I'll pan out a bit so you get the full. And if you look at that stone, that, that points more or less, I think towards the north, that's that stone. That's number two done. So we are now off to Carrig Coiten in Newport. Uh, quick visit there. I uh, don't know what opportunities we'll get for photos or videos there, but we are going there. And then we're gonna go on to Newport Beach. There's the sign. And we're going up that road there. But uh, please bear in mind that's a private road. You can't park up there. So please don't come here and don't park up there. It is private. So we've reached it now, so Carrig Coiten burial chamber and uh, a bit smaller than the last one we went to. And there it is, guys, that is it. So again, they do think that this goes back 5,000 years or more and would have been the resting place of of the nomadic people. Do you ever feel you don't get out what you're putting in? So that's number three done. So I'm glad we didn't do the one near Moyle Grove because it'd be dark by now. So we are literally seconds away from Newport uh, Beach and we're gonna park down there. I do expect to see a load of um, vans there. A work colleague went down a few weeks ago and um, he said that there were quite a few parked there. So uh, yeah, we're gonna get down there, maybe go for a little walk and then come back to Nova and make some supper. Just coming down to Newport Beach now. Uh, good thing about Pembrokeshire is their car parks are free. Um, I think it's like October, November to March. Um, so there is no charge, which is great. So we're gonna park up, have a walk up and down the beach and then come back and cook some supper. Out, more dry robes. So we are going to park Nova back facing the beach and uh, there's a van over there but I'm not sure it's it might be somebody who's parked up there for the night I don't know 
So there are toilets in that here, but they're renovating the cafe as well. It's a little bit windy guys we've had to move nova we are cooking i don't know how it's gonna turn out oh my god what a palaver we do have garlic bread we do have some french fries and we do in there have a microwave pizza that's not being done in the microwave so as I said, we've had to turn Novo backwards now because the wind was too strong. But uh, we've got gas, we are cooking. Just let's see how it turns out. This is not looking too bad. I think we are getting there. Uh, so tonight's pieces of kit, this is not a sponsored video. This is just an honest review. We have the Ridge Monkey XL. Alongside that we have its big, big brother the NJT, both the same sort of type pans. This one has magnets which uh, close it and this one has a little catch on the end there, but they basically do, do the same job. And then this Odyssey Charles Bentley double gas hob as well. So anyway, that's the choice of kit tonight. We're already in there. You can hear the wind, you can hear the waves. I'm starving, it's time to get some food. Oh, there we are then. Not the most nutritional meal in the world, guys, but after not thinking that we'd have food here because of the wind, because I don't like to cook in Nova, we've done it. So, microwaved pizza, not done in a microwave. Oven-baked garlic bread, not done in an oven. And I don't know what they are, I think they're done in the oven as well, but they're not. So anyway, I'm going to tuck into my pizza, garlic bread and my chips. And of course, I'm going to wash that down with my usual suspect of my 0% lager with lemonade. Okay, I'm going to eat this. Hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. I'm going to get home after this. So this will be the last bit that I'm going to do for tonight. And um, as I said, if you like the videos, please do share them, subscribe and like them. And uh, any comments you've got, put them down in the comments section below. Cheers, guys. Diolch. Bye. So just before we uh, do the photos, uh, yeah, can you just imagine that at least 5,000 years ago, how on earth, again, it's this is a small one by comparison to uh, Petri, Ivan, and uh, the other two. I think it's the smallest out of the four anyway. But can you just imagine how on earth they got that stone up onto those supporting legs? And uh, bear in mind that this one is totally above ground and would have been above ground from what I've been told. So there would have been no earth around the bottom of that to expose the top stone. That would have been hoisted on top of that on those three points and covered in stone, uh, amazing. No structural engineers back then. not even sure that I will get down to cable because normally it's full of vans so I guess within seconds we'll sure find out So 
So this is Cable Beach and there are going to be some stunning colours out there on the West Wales coast tonight. So yeah, this beach is normally packed with uh, paddle boarders and um, wild swimmers and families. I think when I came here last night, there were, uh, last time there were a lot of families here. Anyway, so that's the view out to sea. And then I'm just going to pan round. There is, an, there is a path that walks up along there which goes towards cardigan and then there's a few alcoves or caves running along that side and then that's of course further up the beach and where we came in was over there and pan in 360 for you now you can come along from where i took the last video you can come alongside here, there's a footpath that runs all the way down here. Just a quick video to say we are now cooking and the colours in the sky tonight are fantastic, as you can see over there. And uh, I'm not sure how much you can see by here, but we're using a bench to put our stuff on. And if I bring this little torch over with me, we've got the NJT on the single burner cooking away. So next time I'm just gonna just do some photos, I think of the food that we have. And uh, hope you've enjoyed this one and we'll say goodnight when we finish. Not sure how good quality this will be, but we've had a bit of a disaster. Um, I've got that single burner and it's propane and butane mix, but I tell you what, it's useless. So I had another piece of kit in my long list of stuff in Nova. If you can just see down there, it's a single little burner with uh, that canister. I'm not sure if you can see that, but uh, so we're cooking it all together in the NJT now. We've got a bit of heat in it, so hopefully I'll be eating soon. Um, if you have any idea of a better gas to use, then uh, pop, uh, pop some advice in the comments below. It'll be much appreciated. Thank you. Diolch. So guys, there we are, black as black out there. But uh, we managed to get something to eat, as you've seen. Wasn't the best meal I've ever had, and wasn't the fastest either, but at least my steak was cooked. I was dreading it coming out rare, and I just don't eat rare um, meat. I don't eat steak very often, only on the odd occasion. Anyway, so we're back at Nova now. We're just gonna sort the kit out, ready to go home. And um, there we are, plenty of light in there. We've got the engine running because it has dropped significantly in temperature. And uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say really other than uh, hope you enjoy the videos. And if, you would, um, if you'd like to share them, that would be great. And any comments you have, please put them in the comment bar below. And I will get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, yeah, let's hope for more.